Hi, Adam with the BMW Repair Guide. Today we're going to replace the fuel leak detection pump and charcoal canister in a 2011 335i E90. The fuel leak detection pump has does exactly as its name implies. It checks the fuel system for leaks by pressurizing all of the lines and monitoring to see if that pressure decreases, which would indicate there's a leak in the system. It is a very important part of the emissions uh, system of your car, and if it goes out, you will most likely get a service engine light, as well as one of several different fault codes. To see exactly which fault codes are relevant to the E90, we suggest you go to our article at BMW Repair Guide, where we have them listed there. The fuel leak detection pump um, and the charcoal canister on the E90 are located behind the left rear bumper. Uh, they are very easy to access, but we do suggest that you jack up the rear of the car to get to them. Um, this repair can be done with the car on the ground, but it's extremely difficult and you're opening yourself up for, for breaking something. So it's best if the rear of the car is jacked up off the ground. So let's get started. So the vapor detection valve and the charcoal canister that are part of the EVAP system on the E90 are actually located behind this panel uh, below the rear bumper. So to access them, you're gonna have to jack the car up. Um, we have a lift here at the BMW Repair Guide which makes life easy, but I know that most home mechanics don't have that. So you're gonna have to jack up the rear of the car so you can access these, these bolts. And, and you just use a, uh, an eight millimeter uh, socket wrench or nut driver, whichever you prefer to remove these screws actually, they're not bolts. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove these eight millimeter screws. Then once those are out, you can just grasp the plastic panel. And pull it free from the car like this. And as you can see, we now have access to the charcoal canister as well as the leak detection pump right there. So the first step <clears throat> is to disconnect the charcoal filter. Um, and this is sometimes can be kind of a pain because this plastic uh, vent line right here, um, getting this thing disconnected can often be very difficult. What I like to do is I like to use a pair of pliers like this to squeeze the tabs down because using your fingers is, is just sometimes really difficult and isn't going to work. So I like to squeeze the tabs down like this and using a flat blade screwdriver, slowly try and pry the pipe out and be very careful because it can get brittle and it will break. And as you can see, I can slowly get it to pry out and it comes loose like that. So highly suggest using a, uh, the pliers and the screwdriver for disconnecting the charcoal canister. So like the outer vent line, the inner one is very difficult to get off with your, with your fingers. We, we have already gotten this one started, but you're gonna have to squeeze the release with a pair of pliers and then use a screwdriver to kind of pry it off of the charcoal canister like this. And you're gonna have to use a little bit of work, but you will get it off. There it goes. So the vent line on the leak detection pump, like the charcoal canister, very difficult to remove with your fingers. What you're gonna to wanna to do is squeeze it with some slip joint pliers, and once again, try and pry it off, hopefully without breaking the pipe. So once you get the leak detection pump 
vent line, pried loose. You can just grab it with your hand and pull it off the pump. And then you want to unplug the pump by depressing the tab on this side of the plug and pulling the plug off. So everything is disconnected now. Next we're going to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and then we can lower the whole unit out of the car. So using a 10 millimeter socket wrench, go ahead and remove these two mounting bolts. And now you can carefully remove the unit from the vehicle. Leak detection pump, charcoal canister. So as you can see, we've put the leak detection pump and the charcoal canister on the bench. To separate the leak detection pump from the charcoal canister, we need to remove these Torx screws right here. And then we'll be able to pull the pump free from the canister. Now, if you're replacing both of them, which we strongly suggest you do, um, then you don't need to do this step. So, uh, but we're gonna show you how to do it just in case you're just replacing the pump and not the canister or vice versa. So to remove the leak detection pump, you're gonna wanna take a, a Torx bit and remove these three Torx screws. You can see we've got the pump, fuel detection leak pump, and the charcoal canister out of the car. So that does it for this repair. If you found this video helpful, we would really appreciate it if you like it. We would also appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. And for any other questions concerning your E90 BMW, please see our website, bmwrepairguide.com.